Hi there, my name is Hannah and this is the Book Dreamer Solid. I decided to start this channel to the booktube newbie tag because honestly I wouldn't know how to introduce myself naturally otherwise. So here I am. Well, question number one. Why did you start this channel? Since I discovered booktube three years ago, I've always wanted to start this channel. And uh, it's mainly because I want bookish friends, friends within the bookish community that I can talk to uh, and share my thoughts with regarding whatever I read. Uh, to be honest, I don't have many friends around who read as much or read uh, what I do. And uh, I very much like to be part of this community. I think that's the main thing, yeah. Question number two. What are some funny, unique things you can bring to BookTube? Well, I always give my honest opinion. I, I honestly cannot lie. So that would be one thing and then that I not only read mainstream books uh, but I read nearly anything that gets into my hands so uh, I could give my opinion on those books that are not normally found on channels. Uh, question number three, what are you most excited for about this new channel? Making bookish friends, as I said. The closest friend that reads a lot uh, is um, about five or more, about eight hours away by car. So I feel the need to um, share and make even more friends. I have a couple of friends, especially uh, Steph from Steph Loves and uh, Shibon from Shibon Louise reads a lot. Uh, who have uh, been quite encouraging and really made me get, uh, let's say, deeper into the community. Uh, question number four, why do you love reading? Oof, uh, well, that's an easy one, actually. I love reading because reading has saved my life so many times. I honestly lost count a long time ago. Uh, and when you read, you really feel... Like, you live a different life every time you read a book. You travel to places, even if it's only in your mind now that it's not so easy to travel normally. And that that's priceless. That's why. Uh, question number five. What book or series got you into reading? Well, the first time I consider I started reading twice um, because there was a period of uh, a couple of years in my life that I didn't, I barely read. But the first time when I was little, I think it was a hardback collection of Disney classics my mom gave me. And I especially remember the Jungle Book. The second time, it was uh, with The Count of Monte Cristo, given to me by my godmother as a birthday present. And The Lord of the Rings. That happened when I was 20. As one of these people who used to say, oh, uh, fantasy for children. No adult should read fantasy because you cannot relate it to reality. And, um, pff, nah, that's a huge lie now, I know. Uh, because actually, fantasy is one of my favorite genres, if not the favorite, together with middle grade. So, yeah. Uh, question number six. What questions would you ask your favorite booktubers? Well, first I have to say my favorite booktubers, like the ones I watch constantly, are uh, Steph from Steph Lives, um, Cody from Cody's Book Corner, G from Book Roast, uh, let me, okay, Becca from Backhand Book, and Gavin uh, from uh, How to Train Your Gavin. And, well, I have to thank, I have to stop for a second here and thank Gavin and Jamie Littler, because the author, uh, because they actually uh, got me back into middle grade and I cannot thank them enough for that. So thank you guys. Uh, the question said, ask these people, how do you do it? Oh, I nearly forget, Jade from JD Ray reads. Um, how do you manage that? How do you uh, get such great content 
so creative, regular, stick to your uh, schedule and do it, balancing perfectly with your personal life, work, and everything else you have in your lives. Like, it's amazing. And how do you learn how to edit like that? <laughs> uh, question number seven. What challenge do you think starting a booktube channel would be the hardest to overcome? Uh, well, first of all, it's hard for me to stick to a uh, project. Uh, one of the characteristics of BPD, which I have, is that you start something with all your energy and will and you really want to do it you've been planning it for a long time start do it it's going well and poof, something happens and your attention goes somewhere else you just leave it there so that and my fear i don't know if you realize but um i'm quite scared at this moment i'm scared of cameras and i have like a constant fear of public rejection and criticism uh like negative one and yeah that 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 be it uh question number eight uh sorry if i'm looking down a lot but i'm reading the questions in a notebook so i have them all written down here uh so question number eight when did you start reading i started reading once as i said before uh first time when i was three i was one of these very annoying children who used to be constantly asking my mom like hey uh what does it say there what does it say there oh how do you read that uh, could you read that for me please like 24 7 even when she was driving of course i was not aware she needed her full attention on the road and she got tired at some point and started to teach me how to read and that was the beginning of it <laughs> and uh second time when i was 20 when i went back to it uh question number nine where do you read i read mainly on my bed uh but i honestly read everywhere well this is a funny story once i forgot my book uh i had to go out forgot my book at home i was going to look for it in my bag and oopsie <laughs> no book so i felt completely naked like literally as if i had no clothes on so i started covering my arms and my legs and uh it was a very uncomfortable feeling. So yeah, every time I forget a book, and since then I realized I, I feel totally naked and it's annoying. It's horrible. Question number 10. Um, what kind of books do you like to read? I read nearly anything, to be honest. Uh, my favorite genres are fantasy, sci-fi, um, historical fiction, I'd say. But I love reading so um, there are two things i don't like uh, one is self-help it's not that it's bad but it's certainly not for me i mean i'd rather go to a therapist but that's my personal view again and the other thing is that when a book gets too smutty i start getting uncomfortable or bored somehow so there's a certain level of smart that is fine but too steamy not for me uh so yeah that's it for me today oh and i'm very sorry if uh i made any mistake in english my native language is spanish so yeah i, I hope you'll forgive me if that happened i'll link the channels of the people i mentioned down below so you can check them out if you don't know them yet uh thank you very much for watching and please don't forget to like if you liked it to comment especially comment because i uh really want to get to know you guys and subscribe and i hope to see you soon bye